That's interesting uh, setup there for Double Bayo against Mario and Greenwich as we hop into it here. Oh, as we don't hop into it here, or we're just admiring the beauty of Bayonetta. Uh, they probably have to... I don't know, that was set up for doubles before in the, uh, the friendlies. Hmm. Probably name switch? Oh, different color? I don't know. Alright. Yeah. Check, check. Check. These are the bros calamity playing, apparently. <laughs> Oh, they named themselves. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You just set it up. That just way. Right, right, right. Okay. I'm just checking to see if the audio levels are good. Yeah. Guys, let us know how things sound. All right. That should be good. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. So we have uh, after that little audio fix, pretty much even so far in terms of percentages, and we have the Bayos getting pretty juggled so far. Yo. Just a lot of juggling going on. This is going to be a heavy aerial game. Yes, and you got to wonder. I'm not sure, I guess, who the uh, two Bayos are. That's Geo and Twanonite. All right. Yeah. And it looks like they're facing off with SSB Matt and Redeemer mm -hmm. Z. Right. And nice little forward air there by Matt will take that. Just and in your face, but he takes out his teammate. Yeah, it's unfortunate friendly fire right there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's that up smash, though, Will. Sort of take it. Yeah. Oh, there's what, a, a witch time double combo. Not, oh, it did take. Wow. Nicely done there to get that. Uh, to get the witch time. Mm -hmm. You know, I know people have wondered sometimes a little bit about Bayonetta's vi viability in doubles, but you know, heck, you get that witch time at hyper sense, and with all the chaos going on, you can get it. Yeah, with all the juggles going on, it, it is a little bit of uh, like variability getting in there and just making sure you don't hit your teammate as well. But as as long as you separate it one one and one one on the other side of the teams, if you're good with your Bayo juggles and combos, it should be pretty uh, pretty good for Bayo. Yes. Right. And another witch time thrown out, but great interruption from Redeemer. Uh, yes. right there. You can see there's kind of the other problem that Bayonetta gets is if you get the, you know, even if you get that witch time off, you know, somebody's partner ends up seeing that, you know, it's very easy to interrupt because you don't, uh, you know, you don't get both. Right. And ooh, it's the gimp right there off yeah. by Matt and looks like, I'm not sure which Bayonetta it is, but regardless, this Bayonetta is in trouble. Here comes the aerial game coming in from the red team. Trying to set up combos there. Get some. Oh, and I like the little back air from the Greninja. Customs, but he gets in a witch time, and he gets away from it. All right, he did need a brunt of damage, but he does have some sort of uh, stage presence now. A little bit. And you got to be incredibly hit. Ooh, on the air platform. dodge read. Mm -hmm. Very nice read from Redeemer. And that'll take round one for the red team. Nicely done there by the red team. Yeah, we got right, a little bit late into it because he had a uh, audio check and things like that. But yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I guess while we're on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is the real Mr. M here with Mini Boss, correct? Yes. Excellent. And we are here for doubles action here at the lab, mm -hmm. being streamed by Rose Calamity, and we are here seeing the ever impressive double cloud lineup. It looks like. I'm not sure. I did they go double uh, double character the last time they were? Yeah, they two? went double Bayo and then they go double cloud. Okay. Um. Not sure if I completely approve of, you know, going complete double character unless, of course, it's you know double cloud. In which case, heck, you can blindfold yourself and you can still <laughs> expect to true. do pretty decently good in doubles. Uh, yeah, they just like kind of with Bayo as well. The, the aerial game might be a little bit stronger, and the disjoints will definitely help out against the characters that have to get in close, like Mario and Greninja. But at the same time, like we were saying before about Bayo, you have to make sure that. You don't interrupt your teammate and what they're dealing with the other opponent or uh, things like that as well. Yes. Of course, with Cloud, you can just throw this infinite up air and then just be pretty much fine. That's true. Yeah, bench press and whatnot. But uh, we'll take a look and see how it goes here. Matt and uh, Redeemer obviously are two, uh, you know, two of Philly's uh, better players. Both of them on the PR. Uh -huh. If my memory serves me correctly, Geo, I know, is not on the Philly PR. Mm -hmm. um, probably not his partner either. But you never know. I've seen some pretty crazy upsets and if. The team is, uh, you know, they've got good chemistry, and, you know, you never can tell. Yeah, he burned his jump on the side there, so all he had was up B, and he had just yeah. had to go down. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. That's the life of Cloud, though. I mean, really, yeah, Cloud, he, people complain that it, he's good with aerials, good with uh, smash attacks, but the one thing that you can uh, get him on is his gimp ability in the air off the side of the stage. Yeah. And uh, meanwhile, it looks like 
Greninja was taking a little bit of a uh, high flying action against that cloud and great push with the, just got the hydro pump. Up B right there. And <laughs> that's the other thing I guess you gotta be worried about. And right. Maybe something that we didn't realize when this match first started, but both Greninja and Mario have yes. water boosting uh, or I should say water style moves. Yeah. And that is capable of killing Cloud at very early percent. Against the <laughs> Uh, against this team, and they're both in the red, they should be uh, called the Firemen. Hmm. Oh, and, oh, and another goes... push, and he's far out again! Uh, in Matt the meantime, is on we're... point Ooh. with that! And Takes out two! Yes, Matt is... You know, looks like he's obviously a really good Greninja. I know those in the singles bracket are a lot more familiar with his Ike, mm -hmm. but he's putting in work right now. Uh, looks like on the other side, you know, of the stage, looks like Redeemer went a little bit deeper than Edgeguard and ended up losing that stock. Um, in the meantime, looks like a forward air will take that stock off of Matt, but they are in control right now. Yeah, 4-2, and they've had uh, majority uh, stage control for most of the time as well. Yeah. And he was 4 I'm a little, uh, not too sure about that burn of the uh, limit on the top You there. can see there, there's a little bit of a fear that they're just going to get either caped or just hosed or hydro pumped. Ooh, great drag you know. down with the up air from Matt and then into And the there's a shadow sneak right there, and that Ooh. takes off that limit cloud, and they are in a lot of trouble. Frog, but he takes them down and he said, if okay. we're going down, I'm going to take you with me. All right, I can I can respect that. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely. Just a that. little bit. Mm. I don't I don't think Redeemer and uh, you know and Matt are going to care all that much, but <laughs> hey, at least they the losers uh, they get to leave a little bit of their dignity. They lost that uh, the war, but they won that last battle. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. All right, so uh, why don't I pull out my phone so we can see who comes us up next? Okay. Okay, I heard Luck and Ninja versus uh, Herbert Hoover and Millard Fillmore, president stopping by. <laughs> and uh, once we get that set up, we will hop right back into doubles. Uh, but if you guys could, make sure to follow so you get updates and notifications whenever we go live. And we do that throughout the week with a bunch of Smash games.